for us, Brazilian, when the river enter in Brazil from Iquitos, we call the river Solimões. All the way down here, 2,500 miles, when it start to meet right here, after this peninsula here, then still the Solimões one side and the Rio Negro this side. Together they go 24 kilometers downstream without mixing. Then it starts to mix. You see all the water of the Amazon on top and the Rio Negro goes underneath. You don't see anymore the black water, just the mud water. For 24 kilometers mix total and then the Brazilians call the Amazon River after the conference, after the meeting of the water. So far, the Amazon has 15,000 tributaries going on its back. Rio Negro ranks as the fifth longest river in the world. The fifth, the seventh longest in the Amazon River. So the first one is the Nile. Nile exceeds the Amazon for some kilometers, not many, but some. But the Amazon is the biggest in volume of water. There's no dam all the way until you got in Peru on the river, not even to the Atlantic. Total length of the Amazon is 6,672 kilometers. That's the length of the Amazon River. It goes all the way from the Atlantic, from Pacific to the Atlantic, sorry. Close to the Pacific. The Negro is 2,700 kilometers long. The Rio Negro. There's more five river longest. It's almost the same size as the Rio Negro. And the third, which is the Madeira River, which is 3,700 kilometers long. Right here is about 50 meters deep only. That's going to be the oh. average depth only. <laughs> That's going to be the average depth of the river all the way the Amazon. But there are parts that goes in 90 kilometers deep. 90 meters, I'm sorry, 90 meters. I'm sorry. The speed of the water, it depends. Average on the Amazon River is about two, three kilometers per hour. But there are most parts upstream on the headwaters that it goes seven to eight kilometers per hour. The Rio Negro, is about mainly one and a half, two, two and a half, some parts, kilometers per hour. You can see there's no sediment on the Rio Negro, very little sediment on, on the river, but you can see in contrast, lots of sediment on the Amazon River. It's a site of very unsigned river, the Rio Negro is, long ago. Border with Brazilian and Guiana Shield, giant rocks weathered long ago. All the sediment was done long, long ago. In contrast, we have the new river, the new Amazon River running to Brazil, which was, the scientists say that this river ran to the opposite direction. It ran to the Pacific, not to the Atlantic. And some million years ago, it started to move because of the colliding of the plates, the tectonics of the South American Pacific plate. And then they start to erode the mountains in, in, in the ends. And then a giant lake was represent. And then it started to broke. And then the river start to change its way to the Atlantic Ocean. Proofs of that is that some uh, fish that just could live in salt water adapt, evolved to live in fresh water. And this time where the lake was represent, these fish had the chance to adapt themselves. When the river broke, they came all down here. In case of these gray dolphins and the uh, pink dolphin, stingray, soft fish that we find in the Amazon, and many other kinds of uh, animals. Which is easier to navigate. Rio Negro is very dark. There's lots of rocks on the bottom of the Rio Negro and white sand soil but they do not move around, they stay they're stable. So pilots like Dijama that knows the river on the dry season and the rainy season, it's easy for him 
to go all the way and say, here is the sandbar. Every year it's here. There's the rocks there and they there. Here on the Amazon River is different. It's a nightmare navigation for those who don't know the way here. Because of the sandbar, they move around, year round. Sandbar that was at that side, uh, next year will be on this side. So then you take this channel here and you stack on the sandbar. So you have to have good pilots to uh, navigate on the Amazon River. Then we have the problem of the trees and logs and huge amount of floating needles that comes down now, broken because the water is already up and they break the roots from the ground and start to coming down with the current. And with that there's logs and dead trees and everything else. And you have to stop the boat and then you have to cut into it and then take it away. So all these make this obstacle of navigation on the Amazon River. From here to the Atlantic Ocean is 1,500 kilometers long. Cargo ship comes from there and goes all the way up to Iquitos, was in Peru, but in Brazil side. It's navigable the whole year, dry season and rainy season. The dry season, the average is 10 to 15 meters deep, the river. And some part, 50 meters, but in the rainy season, mostly 30 to 50 meters. What does it mean, Amazon? Remember the war women, the mythology, the Greek mythology? That was also said to be around here. That was said by Francisco de Orellana, a Spaniard, the guy, the conquistator of the Amazon River area and the Rio Negro. And uh, Free Gaspar de Cavajal, he wrote that he saw with his crew members, women with long hair without a brace. The left brace was, was off. And that's what means Amazon without a brace. To put the air and bow. And what we don't know, there's no proof really about that just maybe the liberation of the crew members for many years here in this place using that horrible quotes and uh, without malaria. seeing family and malaria and all these beasts <laughs> we don't know <laughs> actually the name was given by Orellana also the Rio Negro Orellana came down stuck here and up to the Rio Negro and then named it the Two River okay that's all I know about this purpose <laughs>